internet it's Maggie Bot here with vlog number eight and it's a from my desk edition again because I'm gonna be working late and I needed a break so uh, welcome uh, so a couple of big things this week where some really exciting Kickstarters came up and I played a few games that were amazing and I played a couple that weren't so amazing and I got my copy of 11 C's here at work today it came with a bell so I've been bugging the crap out of everyone um, but this is the tea time card game. These are the people that originally did Sushi Go. Um, yes, I know. I, I know Sushi Go isn't something super special, but it's really fun and cool. Um, so that's that. Uh, the Kickstarter I mentioned, uh, the big one this week was uh, a Stuffenfeld title called Aquasphere. And this is a Tasty Minstrel license that they're doing in the States. They brought over from Europe, and that was originally Hall Games, which is normal for Feld, and they're only doing a 10-day campaign because they wanted to see, okay, are people felled it out? Like, there were four games last year, maybe almost five, and they were, I think they were worried because they had Rialto before, which I love Rialto, but a lot of people didn't really dig it that much. I thought it was really cool for a casual five-player game. Um, so in, like, no time flat, of course, it's sold out, and it's up at like $40,000 right now. So if you haven't seen it, you should t check it out. It's a little worker placement game where you program robots to go around and collect data and knowledge and crystals. And yes, it's Tasty Minstrel, so that means lots of custom meeples. I will I'll deal with it when it comes along. Um, but it's still pretty cool. And then um, through work, I backed uh, Swords and... Swords... I can't think of the words, no. Uh, there's a mouse guard game that they play inside mouse guard. Uh, the little mice, mice do, and it's got little shaved wood head things, and um, I'm going to have to look it. Oh, I feel so late now. Wait, you guys can watch me look this up. Swords and Strongholds, yes. Two S words, and I'm never going to remember them. <laughs> um, so that's cool, and we'll have that coming in really soon. Uh, as far as games I played this week, we got to play my first playthrough of Vinos, and that is the same guy that did CO2. Uh, you are in Portugal and making wine. And no joke, this board was one of the like big sized game boards, and it had 18 different parts of it. Like you grow wine over here, and then you do a thing over here, and then you sell it to this guy, and then there's a favorite track, and then there's another thing. Um, I would not say it's the same kind of complicated as Madeira, where you take one action and it fuels four others, but there is just a hell of a lot of things going on. Uh, it, it was a lot of decisions and a lot of things to think about and do, and I actually came in second in my first play, so obviously uh, it's got some learning curve on it if we're all just kind of flounder around that I come in second. <laughs> I never come in anywhere near that. I'm team 3-4. But, um... That game was okay, but it just made me crave playing CO2 a lot more, because that is his other title. I already own it. I think it's a fabulous game, and I haven't played enough of it. Um, I need to play it with a more casual crowd. People aren't going to min-max and try and save the world and to kind of do what the game is supposed to do, because I don't know if you guys have played CO2, but it's a game where the board can kill you, but if it doesn't, whoever got the most points wins. And I've only played it with people that don't help you with the first part and they just work on points and then they're always going to win. So you have to have kind of a more casual crowd, not a min-max crowd. Though I am determined that next time I play with someone who's not helping me save the world, I'm going to burn down the world and punish them. <laughs> and that's the clip that I bring out of this video. I'm going to burn down the world. Um, the other one, I played earlier this afternoon, I played Magnum Opus, and I played a game called Seventh Hero, which is love letter, but not. Um, but Magnum Opus was cool. It was a Kickstarter, uh, half a year ago, and it got released. Um, unfortunately, the reason I did not back it on Kickstarter is because they did their final fulfillment through the Game Crafter, so the component quality and the card stock and everything for a deck builder is just not what I would want. And so, eh. Hopefully it will still sell. It's got the coolest theme. You're an alchemist, and you're mixing different things to try and make a Philosopher's Stone. And it ended up really good. Um, I think our randomized setup is not my favorite thing, but that's just our first game, and then after that you can kind of 
edit that because in our first game the game lasted about 20 minutes too long for me but if we did a less randomized setup and you had more of a goal oriented like an engine builder uh, I think that would work out way better uh, the last thing I will talk about as far as playing games was the archer board game don't do it <laughs> just don't they did not put much design time into this but to their credit for Cryptozoic's credit this is a board game that they can sell at Target and Walmart, and fans of the cartoon can pick it up, play it, no problem. It's not going to confuse them with lots of extra rules or mechanics or weird European strategy. It's just going to let them roll a die and more die and draw a card and play a card. Um, and then I kind of want to sneak in here. I know I'm running a little long today, but... Um, as far as the rest of this goes, I am getting ready for Gen Con, so as I said before, I never really signed up for a lot of things. So now I've signed up for three things officially, so that's seeing the double clicks on Friday, going to the Spooning, Spooning Meeples event, so that's the one Tar and um, Rhiannon, uh, I don't remember your screen name, oh no! <laughs> um, the Spooning Meeples team put on this cool game of I Dark Overlord. So the contestants are going to be all my favorite game reviewers, and the audience of up to 300 people are going to be the Overlord. So we're going to make it um, really fun. I'm going to be rooting everyone on. I'm getting there super early, so I'll be the dork in the front seat, or the you know the front. But who cares? Whatever. I'll I'll be fine. And then on Saturday, I'm going to be playing a game of uh, Five Tribes from Days of Wonder because I've still never really had a Days of Wonder game that was for me. Ticket to Ride's just not for me. Uh -huh, so I'm looking forward to that. And then picking up my copy of Imperial Settlers. And a friend of mine is picking up a copy of Sheriff of Nottingham, which is a remake, I think. I've just never played it, so I didn't know if I wanted it or not. But that's all for now. Bye, bye, bye.